What is the basic law of Hong Kong? It comes from the joint declaration signed by China and Britain in 1984, which laid down the framework for China's approach to Hong Kong after the 1997 handover. Under the principle of one country, two systems devised by Deng Xiaoping, Hong Kong's capitalist system and way of life are to remain unchanged for 50 years until 2047. The basic law is the city's mini-constitution containing those policies. It was drafted by a committee of 59 people. Mainlanders were the majority and 23 were Hong Kongers. It states the relationship between Hong Kong and the central government and protects human rights such as the freedom of speech, freedom of assembly and equality before the law. The Hong Kong courts have ruled some local laws violated the basic law, such as an old telecommunications law that let law enforcers tap people's phones without a court order. Article 23 is controversial. It says Hong Kong shall make a national security law. An attempt to legislate in 2003 caused 500,000 people to take to the streets, for they feared their rights would be eroded. Beijing has the right to interpret the basic law. It has done so five times. In 2016, Beijing preempted a Hong Kong court's judgment over a case involving two pro-independence lawmakers. The interpretation made the court disqualify the pair for their anti-China antics during their swearing-in ceremony at the Legislative Council. Of the Hong Kong Special Administrative Region of the People's In recent years, activists have called for a new agreement between Beijing and Hong Kong beyond 2047. Some, like Joshua Wong, call for more autonomy. Others advocate outright independence, alarming the Chinese government. There is no specific mention of what will happen to Hong Kong after 2047. But what we do know is that there's bound to be many years of intense debate about the future.